Hello, my name is Sarah Fatima Portilla. Like Tortilla, but with a B. Anyways, this is a story time of how I almost faded, faded in Barcelona. First of all, I have another story time of Barcelona, which you may or may not have seen already, but I recommend you watch that video before this one because I explain more detail like the situation I was in. But anyways, there's a little rest to me. I hadn't slept for about two days, one of them because I went partying. And the only food I actually had in my stomach was some tapas, which is like this like bread, like snack kind of thing, which are really good, but they're not really filling. At like 6 a.m. we woke up because I was with a friend, so we took a bus to Barcelona because I was actually staying in Sitges, which is a little town just below Barcelona. And we started a day and it was really fun at first. And we thought it was a good idea to buy tickets for Parque Güell, which is a really nice park. If you haven't seen it, then there's a vlog in my channel, which you can also I go and visit. So yeah, we bought tickets to that park, but the catch in the tickets was that it was 10 a.m. at this point and the tickets expired at 12. When we checked how much it would take us to walk there, it wasn't that much, so we assumed we had time, so everything was fine. Anyways, we start walking towards Park Well, and in the middle of the way, I'm just feeling really bad. A little side note, I actually do have low blood pressure. I go like this to those like really dangerous critical levels of low pressure. It wasn't the first time that everything went black and then everything came to color again. So I wasn't really worrying at the moment because it was kind of normal to me. Then the blackness never went like out. You know, like if you were about to faint, but actually deal, like just when the moment when you're about to actually go unconscious, you like return to the world, then I started to freak out. What really caught me off guard was the fact that while walking, suddenly my steps were like super heavy. You haven't slept well for like three days. You haven't ate well for like three days. You're feeling bad. Hmm, no wonder why. At this point, we were halfway through to Parkwell. I decided like it was time to like really take a break. Like I needed food because there was no way I could like continue moving like this. So we actually stopped. But we were kind of stressed out because again, the ticket had a time limit. So at this point it was like 10... 45, 11, but we kind of still had time. So yeah, we stopped, we actually ate this. So I ate that and it took me a while to actually feel better, but at the end of the day, I did feel better. We went actually uphill because Parkwell is like in a hill. So we were like basically running uphill and I was like, oh my God, I cannot move. And I was really, really, really scared that something serious had happened to me. But fortunately after eating, I didn't really feel dizzy that much again which was good. Your takeout of the story is that you have to eat and you have to sleep. So like I get that if you're traveling you're really like mesmerized of everything that you're seeing because everything is new and you haven't seen like a lot of the things in the place you're visiting but at the same time you can't forget about the basic necessities of human people, you know? Like you're still a human, you still have to eat and you still have to sleep. So yeah, just don't forget that. Anyways, that's the story. I hope you understood. I know my English is not the best, but I'm trying. I hope you like the story. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do have a lot of traveling videos and I do have one specifically, specifically for Barcelona and another story time that you should totally watch because as crazy as it sounds, this was not as bad as the other thing that happened in Barcelona. I hope to see you soon again with another video. And yeah, that's it, bye bye.